Greetings, I'm Charles Roberts, the inventor of Method Shaving, and today I would like to cover a subject that's not related directly to the technical aspects of shaving, but what I'd like to cover is just the subject of wet shaving for just a few minutes to kind of bring some perspective and to update what's happened in the wet shaving world in the last few years and to provide all of you out there a better understanding of what's happened in the wet shaving world, where we are, and how to understand uh, the, the, the current uh, mix of different approaches and how they work together and how they accomplish their various outcomes. Uh, in the United States today, the term wet shaving is basically obsolete, okay? Uh, we use it generically to describe this process by which we use shaving brushes, we use shave cloths, double-edged razors, straight razors, and all that to try to accomplish all of these wonderful outcomes that we talk about all the time. But the term wet shaving effectively is a dead expression. Uh, it doesn't explain anything anymore. Years ago we understood wet shaving as brush shaving. Well, it's not that anymore. And then it became method shaving. Well, it's not that anymore. And then it became straight razor shaving. It's not that anymore either. It's essentially a dead term. So what takes its place? Very simply put, we have in the United States today and basically around the world, we have three distinct schools of, we'll use the term wet shaving uh, for lack of a better, but it's an umbrella, it's, it's a, it's a three-tier uh, structure in the international wet shaving world that, uh, that, that describes each one of these approaches as a unique uh, concept in and of itself that has absolutely no relation to the others. Uh, let me let me ex let me explain in greater detail what I'm talking about here. Um, we have uh, all of us have shaved with a brush and a commercial cream or a commercial soap. I use the term commercial simply because it, it, it helps us understand that uh, this is these come typically from England. This originated in England uh, 150 200 years ago. We still do it. We call this traditional brush shaving. I call it traditional brush shaving. You can call it traditional wet shaving. We have a shaving brush. We have a, 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 a saponified cream, we have a shaving soap, and more inc increasingly we're using a double-edged razor. That's the trifecta. Soap, cream, brush, double-edge. Most of my shavers I will start with cream, advance them to, to soap, brush, razor, and then they will also learn to cut the three-form model. Okay? They will not cut all three forms as most of us know. You will cut forms one and two and you will progress into form three until it, it becomes too difficult to cut with this type of media and at that point you will roll over to the second school which is the one I founded which is the method school and the method school is also oftentimes known as American wet shaving so we have British or continental take your pick or traditional I don't care traditional British wet shaving with your brush, cream, soap, whatever. You have American wet shaving, which is method shaving. And the third school is straight razor. All right, the third school is straight razor. So how are we to best understand these? Well, the, the best way to understand how these three relate is to see them as a type of sequencing. All right. Uh, when you start wet shaving, you don't start with method and you don't start with straight. Um, typically, we don't conventionally. What we do is we start with traditional brush. It's the best way. It's, these creams saponify quickly. They're easy to load. You, 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 you can put up straight or you can roll and slab and cut whatever you want. Um, you start with that. and You learn how to hold a rager, do a three-quarter pitch, cut the forms, and then in about six months, when you start to cut past these creams, you start to get some irritation. You then roll over to method. All right. So in straight, in, in, I'm sorry. Excuse me. In traditional brush, we learn how to use a shaving brush, how to load a shaving brush, how to use a double, the fundamentals of the use of the double-edged razor, uh, how to how to peak our soap or cream, depending on what you're using. Typically, you'll start with cream and advance to soap, um, and you'll gain basic mastery in the fundamental forms of single blade shaving. When you move to method shaving, you will, you will advance to the cloth or brush, preferably the cloth because of its water loading capability. You will have to learn how to use primers, buffers, and conditioners. You will have to learn to take a hydrate in the form of water and you're going to have to learn to texturize it through the primer 
buffer conditioning sequence. You're going to have to learn again. You're going to have to advance your skills with a th with three quarter pitch, and you're going to have to learn how to do a third form trenching uh, technique with the blade. What we call a deep blade trench. Okay, to pick up the epidermis, ripple it, and cut properly. When we move, and you, a lot of shavers will stay in that with the double edge forever. Some won't. Uh, maybe three to five percent will advance to the straight razor. The straight razor, okay, has very little to do with mix. It has everything to do with cutlery. You must learn to strut. You must learn to hone. If you do not, you will not master the straight razor. You will probably not even learn to use the straight razor. All the primers, all the buffers, all the all of the king's horses and king's men are not going to help you with the straight razor if you do not learn to use a strop effectively and a honing stone. Those are critical. Now, as an extension on the on the straight razor, what we might, what we might call maybe the ninja class of all shaving is the use of one of these shavettes. All right, this is loaded with a feather blade. Um, when you advance to the shavette you then go back to method. You then go back to the cosmetic elements and the, and, the, and, the, and the primer buffer conditioner platform that allows you to use the shavette. All right? And this is open blade shaving with a, with a feather platinum. It's the highest level of shaving that we have in the United States and probably the world at large. These three approaches to the wet shaving experience have very little anymore in common with each other. True, you can use a brush with your method system in, by using a round hard soap primer, all right? Or by, you can use activator. You can load your brush with activator, hit your hard soap primer, uh, 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 roll, lay it up, buffer up with your cutting balm uh, and, your, and your shaving paste and cut. But the main thing to keep in mind is that this is your, that the shaver advances he progresses from traditional continental brush shaving to method to straight, then to open blade uh, uh, shaving with uh, with a shave head or the feather cobra. Um, beyond that, then the, the 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 basic skills to some extent will cross over a little bit. The main thing being we have products, processes, and techniques. The products are unique to each, each element. The products that are unique to traditional brush shaving are standard creams, potted creams, and soaps. These are saponified agents that are typically aerated. They don't use water. They use an aeration that comes from the brush that causes the product to expand. Um, in method shaving, it's the opposite. You load the mixed media with water. It's hydrophilia. In it's wet method shaving, we call it hydrogenic. You load the mix with water. You've got to learn to do that. In straight razor shaving, you have to learn to hold a blade, cut a line, strop, and hone if you're going to master that. Um, so the, the, these, these three elements, these three schools, all stand alone, both as uh, in and of themselves and as a sequence of progression through the marvelous world of, of, uh, of wet shaving and all of its related uh, qualities. And that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll be back with you again soon.